welcome to the Forge Alliance Overcast. I'll be your host, Michael, and today we're looking at another Galactic War game. This time between Funkoff and Crazed. Funkoff, the Seraphim player in the top right. Crazed is the Eon in the bottom left. Back to the war has been. Fuck off, we'll use Tech 2 Naval Rush in this map and we'll clearly win. But either way, this game should be pretty good. It is quite a long one for 1v1 on Loki. This is the StarCraft map. It's quite a good map. He'll try to refrain from using StarCraft terminology incorrectly. Or whatsoever. Anyway, let's put it on plus two and get it underway. Funk off going ahead. Four P gens. Start off with Crazy gonna go seven P gens second air, very typical. Nothing very aggressive. Funk off. He's a big fan of Selene's. He's a big Selene player. So he'll be sending three Selene's out. Four Selene's. He definitely realizes the power of scouting. And then fans. So Galactic War has been pretty good. The changes Pilot has made have been alright. He's made it so it's a bit slower now. You only capture planets half as quickly and it costs twice as much to attack a planet. It's a pretty cool animation. But either way, we'll be seeing flares out from uh, Crazed as he moves in to protect this engineer as it goes to the top mass ejectors and reclaim. That's a real important part of this. Not the mass ejectors, but the reclaim. Also still need to check if the hydro is being built. Because then you can follow up with the artillery and place it up on here and shoot down at the hydro. Or possibly just to check on his build. Grace coming out first bomber. First inti from Funkoff. Advantage to Funkoff. So he's keeping his interceptor very conservative, not moving it out. And first he's going to do the right thing. He's going to look for that engineer that will be expanding. He scouts, and the anti comes off. And if he can get one bomb off... Oh, no bomb. Yeah! Good timing and good play from Funko. Cleaning up that early bomber was a big investment from... It was a moderate leaf big investment from Crazy now he's been shot down. And a little bit of an early air fight as Funkoff has now built a bomber of his own. Looks like Crazy should be able to control this. Oh ooh, ooh, that was painful. Funkoff taking out the expanding engineer to the top. Now, unfortunately, Crazed has a conservatively placed engineer back here building a factory, so he can spam across. But that was painful, man. It set his build order back 15, 30 seconds. Although, he now has air control. And it looks like Funkoff will... Uh, uh, Crazed will just take his time going to the bottom. And Funkoff doing the non-standard thing of moving his ACU to the bottom expansion. It's not, it's especially not standard as a Seraphim. Some people will argue it's standard to do this if you're a UEF player. I have to send my ACU across. But hey. Eh. Now Craze is looking to see if first land engagement doesn't really want to engage here. Sort of the feel he's getting. Very defensive point defense from Funkoff. Very early to get him. It's only minute six. But uh, yet again, Crazed has got his injuries out. Looks like he'll be claiming the expansion quite easily. For example, we'll go ahead and build some uh, stationary structures there. Not looking to push through. Now, Crazed will attempt to navigate through the siddle. The, the settle? The city.
Ninja acting as a scout and a tech one transport now out for Funk Off. Going to use my magic psychic powers and anticipate he's going to drop here. So a second land factory started by grazing that area. And it looks like a single family scout. And then he'll see Oh, it's a ninja. How'd that get there? Ray's coming off with a NG drop. Looks like he will be dropping to. He'll be dropping to this area here, but there is a tech on my defense, so that won't get far. Oh, he's not happy. He has rushed. He's gone with the tech too. How's this Galactic War with NG on? Galactic Force take up NG mod? What? Fun, and NG drop is successful, going with the tech one punch guns first. Swing comes off, and oh, the punch guns goes up. Bombers will be the. Well, actually, Ultra are going to come out, and it will be able to take out the engineers before they finish their punch guns. Inter interesting, the building animation continues to play even after it's been defeated. The punch guns is still a problem, doing a lot of damage to the unit. But will be cleaned up at a small cost. Techland land units. Uh, currently fuck off with the map control. He's got three extra mechs down here. And fuck off going to do the tech to land. Also the spam which is really what he talked about earlier, about that being really the only viable strategy on this map. Because the war is dominate on large maps. And because Tech 2 Air isn't too much of an option. That is sick. I haven't seen this before. They did the models for the Tech 2 and GHQs. Uh, jealous. Jealous. Where's our UEF and GHQs? Because that is... Badass. Also, interesting note, tech to power from uh, Craze will give him a little bit of a power bench, and now Craze can go ahead and even out the map control. How much here? Except uh, ACU getting. Ooh, ooh, that's a. Is that the. I think that was the. Um, that can be tech to. What, what is this? What are you doing? I don't know, he's just got Tech 2 gun. And now, Chris can go ahead and take this expansion out too, getting the map control back into the bench. Uh, Funk off point to poke his head out of the wander and say a slightly too small of a war force to take on this ACU directly. But meanwhile, we've got Crazed. He's got his own ACU. He's got just Tech 2. Enough. Enough damage to do damage. Aurora's kiting versus the tech two. And again, map control being evened out. Players being going very to head to head. Power is fluctuating very rapidly. Did you just lose a tech two power? He's working on his first tech two power. Got two energy sources near it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and chase away everything. Stationary structures from Crazed. Does not want an army taking on this position. There's lots and lots of Bolshevas. Bolshevas spam is quite high. Okay, there's no big difference with that there from Head 2. And now Crazed can himself trapped in a tough spot. Forward charge is coming out. And Funk Off having a let them easily take out took out the Tech 2 Funk The Wars will now come in and looks like ways to be saved. Funk Off can not ignore all these wars, especially the artillery. Base escapes with just about half health. Meanwhile Yeah, Funk Off can handle this quite easily, especially with air control. It looks like Craze might be contesting for the air. And it's an air fight. No collect whatsoever. Now Tech 2 land coming out from Craze. Got 
Lucky Droids is Obsidian. And there's also Tech Do Iron Munch. Got the Combat Fighting Swift Wings. And Tech Point Vents not really gonna be started. Gonna put it a little more aggressive. Aggressively. And now after losing air control, Grace will go ahead and build a it's essentially a mercy defense. So that's stationary flat. The mercy defense. This game's getting quite hectic. I am going to split it into two views. I can kinda keep an eye on what's going down down here. As you can see the forces are building up from both sides. Craze controls this expansion and has units down here. Tech 2 in the mix. And tech home point defense. But there is a force of Ultravas and a lot of engineers here grabbing where you am. Take two gunships are now out. We're grazed and take two point fence will pull, uh, put the end into this factory. Now a minor engagement at the bottom. Mostly take two armies meeting each other on the battlefield. Numbers for uh, fuck off. Perhaps numbers for uh, Craze, considering he managed to take out those Ultravas quite easily. For Subsidians with their shields, giving them lots of extra health. Two gunships in the area, these two gunships would be easily able to take out that force. Lots we'll of Tech 1 Flak being forced out. And now, we're seeing Fuck Off very slightly behind on the Eco. It's a very interesting thing to see how just slightly behind he is. It's just be going slightly faster. But now he's stopped really pushing in on the, pushing the power, and he's just going to go ahead and be satisfied with what he has and just going to spam. So, fuck off. Are you going to deal with this? Obsidian speed ultra was. Yeah, you mess more mass into the obsidian. And now they're just sitting here regening their shields. And their health in some cases. Although they still don't get better with time, even with shields and veterancy. You can always get worse over time because mass inflation. Take you flak. Trying to get over to defend some of ACU. There are all oh, five guns. Don't fly over the flak. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Your mass income. Don't distract him. He needs to. Wait, where's the flak? The flak has been pulled away. Seventy. Yeah. It's, it's actually ninety. You liar. Lying craze. But funk off yet with only fifty mass income. Craze with the slight map control advantage. And the tech dude. He hasn't been in the seraphim. I'd say that, except Galactic War kind of happened. And Seraphim dominated day on. Incredibly so. This map is definitely Aeon. It's an Aeon map. Now, tech 3 land out for. Uh, Crazed. Although this game is actually far from over, this is just about. I won't spoil it, but it's an, it's not an over game, so I'm just gonna speed it up. Crazed is gonna just gonna go ahead and blow stuff up. The his Avengers and his gunships. Gonna go that the big massive carnage best. What the flak? Lots of danger. Just, just don't care. Blow stuff up. In response, just the attack three. As you just, Grace continues to steamroll. Although the important thing to know here is, Funk Off has the tech two power on Grace. 
That's a very important thing to notice. And Craze, no, 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 not the flak. Not the flak. Craze. Can't go flying your entire army over flak. Especially seraphim flak. Pretty unit. Thanks for the shaders pilot. Interesting to note, look at the build capacity of these players. That's about 70 engineers. Versus a very small 48 engineers. Which means that Grace has been uh, spamming out land much more effectively. Uh, spamming out engines much more effectively, getting that extra reclaim. Look at, look at this, they're just chomping through these trees. Um, 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 um. I want to change my faction. Too bad, Funk Off. You're too busy steamrolling everyone. At this. There. He doesn't lie. Long live. BBF. What? Look at it. Funk Off has a disturbingly large army. It's 20 tanks, 8 Lushvas. Is he going with the tech 3 option? He's doing something sneaky. Taking lots of shields. His entire base is shielded. This base could be beaten to death and he'd still have a... So, Funko going down, turtling. He's prepared. He's ready. He's ready for Craze to run in there. He's gonna do his worst. Gonna get his and he's starting to move in shields. Shield all shivers. Here from shield is the big advantage. 153 health per second is what uh, Funkoff needs to fight over. So Craze just needs to be not dumb enough to try and f to feed him math because he has the power to be competitive. He doesn't have the map control to be competitive. Now, gunships continue to roll. Complete domination by Craze at this point. Craze just needs to make sure he doesn't do something dumb. Can't run in. Can't feed. Uh, Funk off mass. So he, what he's doing here is he's just going to contain him. So he's got his air defending this area. He's got a few auroras, and he's got his massive Tech Three army, Tech Two and power stalls. How are you going to try and end this? You said you were making tech 3, and he wasn't exactly lying. I'm just going to send this off the mid solo. It just does the same. You now, let us watch from the awesome perspective. Invalid, you had no radar. Does he have no radar? He actually doesn't have radar. Also, free kill. Awesome has free kill. Oh, this game. I thought it was going to be more interesting. Boo, players. He's just scooping around at this point. And he's floating mass. Where's he spending all his mass? Oh, <laughs> it's a czar. You gotta end it with a czar, eh, Craze? Eh. I wonder if he'll rename it. It'll be amusing.
and in so many Tekken Scouts. This is just such a large amount of Tekken Scouts. So Zar moves out. I think I'll upload this. It ain't that bad. And oh, it's flying right over everything. It doesn't just doesn't care. It's like ah, oh, tech two flak. I eat tech two flak for breakfast. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fly it this way. And GG. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> well, pretty good game. Pretty lackluster ending. If you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. Good night.